it's kind of quiet in our work. I mean, there's like a quiet quality, I think, to all of our pieces. Almost like it's a, it's a visual poetry. I was shy when I was, when I was a kid, and I felt that by making sculptures that draw you in and you have to participate with was, a, was another way of connecting. Dean's a mechanical sculptor, and I'm a mixed media painter. It's almost like the moon represents something that's um, kind of spreading goodness and, and knowledge. We've been working together for about 25 years, and we're a couple. I think a lot of the, the earlier um, Adama, which I'm, I'm kind of drawing from, those were uh, 18th, 19th century moving sculptures. They, they, had a, they had a wonder to them, but there, was, there were also moral tales, too. The monkeys that would hit the symbols, or the drunkard that would drink. You're kind of getting close to my uh, plan in the universe of art making. Mine's kind of like a girl's jewel box. There's a female in it, and she exists in the world of the fantastic, where small things have great charm. My inspiration is not, tends not to be so much art related, but it's, it's uh, other handmade things or commercially made things in the world. Like I love design magazines. I love illuminated manuscripts. Anything where color and pattern kind of overlap. I like to exist in the world that I paint. You know, that my, my paintings are, a, they do document who I am. I mean, much like, I love Frida Kahlo's work, and that's one thing I really love about her work, is that she is in them, and then there's all these little cues on who she is, by the animals in them, by the color, the way that the light looks. So I feel really inspired to, to do that with my work. I remember early on when I was going to art college, and I was noticing people were only spending a second or two with, with each painting, and I thought, well, I think I can you know, improve on the duration by adding, by adding a machine component to it. I'm often asked how I learned to make things move, and I, and I often say it's genetics. My great-grandfather, uh, he was a cabinet maker, a coffin maker and a watchmaker, and he immigrated from Germany about 140 years ago, and this was one of his prized possessions that he brought with him. It's a magic lantern, and it just amazed me how close these things are to what I make. That will light up. People often ask us, how do you do this with your husband? Somehow, it just kind of works out. It, it was almost like it was meant to be that we, that we do this. I mean, you know what I'm saying, I do, yeah. Yep. We'll decide if it's a good idea, and then I'll end up doing the painting. So that's one of the ways that we collaborate. These two are pretty similar. I mean, sometimes I'll work right off of his original. People think artists, oh, it just flows out of you. You know, like from a child, were you the one that could draw? Uh, no. Uh, were, were you this, like, creative genius? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like we just work really hard and try to keep making it be something that interests us. And hopefully, if it interests us enough, it'll, it will interest other people.